I'm going to show you how to animate animate characters in the Luma AI video generator. We'll take these images of the same character in different action poses and make an animation with them connected together. I'll show the entire workflow from start to finish and by the end of this tutorial you'll be able to create animations with your own anime characters and control them like puppets. The first step of the animation process is to create a sequence of key frames, which are pictures of the same character in different poses. We'll then use an AI video generator to fill in the animation that's in between the different key frames. I'll be using the Midjourney AI image generator to create the images of our characters. First, I prompted for this character. It's important to include some specific details about the appearance, especially the clothing. I also added in a white background. It turns out that this is actually a bad idea. I'll show you why later in this video. To make a bunch of pictures of her in different poses, I'll use this drop down menu right here with three bars to copy the image URL. Then inside the prompt bar, add in the same description of the woman, except this time, change up her movement a little bit, like she points her finger. Then type dash dash C ref and paste in the image URL we just copied. You'll notice that Midjourney automatically turns our CREF command into an image character reference. With that prompt, Midjourney will generate images of that same exact character, except this time she's pointing her finger at us. Here's four different images I made of her in different poses. This works best when the motions aren't too big. Now let's move on to animating the still pictures of our character with the Luma AI video generator. I've got three images of this woman in a sequence. First, she's facing the left, then she turns towards the right, and finally she points her finger at us. Inside Luma, I'll start by uploading the first image of the sequence with the image reference icon. Then there's this option to add an end frame. Luma interpolates or animates what's in between the two different frames. I need to turn off this checked enhanced prompt box since that adds a lot of unnecessary movements into the video. I want the AI to only add a little bit of motion to avoid warping as much as possible. So inside the prompt bar I type, a girl slowly turns, subtle motion. There is some blurring in the video between the two image frames, but overall I'd say it actually does a pretty decent job of preserving the identity of the character while adding in some movement in between the frames. Next up, I'm going to animate the second video sequence. Starting by uploading the frame of the girl facing the right, next I'll add in the end frame of her pointing her finger. Once again, make sure enhanced prompt is turned off, and this time I'll use a prompt like a girl points, subtle motion. Again, there is some blurring if you look closely at her hand in the final video during the pointing motion. It's not going to give you a super sharp video all the way through. Here's a word of caution, I had to generate a bunch of different video samples before I got one that I thought was pretty good. I also generated a video sequence for a male character using the exact same method I just showed. Starting with these images and then animating them in the correct order in Luma Labs. If you're curious, I did try some larger motions but there is quite a bit of warping, especially in the hands and the arms. With the character animations finished, let's add in a background. We'll start by removing the currently blank background with AI and then inserting a background of our own behind the character. Remember when I said it was a bad idea to use a white background in the images? The white background blends in with the character's clothing and makes it difficult to separate the two. Here's what happens when I try to remove the background in CapCut. Luckily for me, a really good alternative background removal tool is the Adobe Express Video Editor. I'll upload one of the character animations, and then when the video has finished processing, use this background removal tool to separate the character. Then I'll drag and drop a generic anime background I found on the Midjourney Explore page into the video editor, and make sure to send it to the back layer behind the character. I've added in my animation sequences in order and put a background behind all of them. Like I mentioned before, you'll get some blurring, especially with the hand gestures. Luma also animates the character speaking. You can see them mouthing words. There's not a great way to deal with that at the moment if you don't want that to happen. If you look closely around the edges, the background removal tool isn't perfect. There are some white edges around the characters. 
Maybe a stronger background color like these bold green tones would help with the background removal a bit more. So that's how you can animate anime characters in Luma. If you want to learn more creative ways to animate your characters, go and take a look at this video tutorial I made over here.